Bonnie Sartori with Spiritual Acceleration. We got some important stuff happening. Hey, so getting ready for 2024, we have to dump some stuff. Okay, but before that, on January 4th with Oceana and myself, we are doing a live video, but we're also going to be doing um, uh, a giveaway. So we're doing a clearing, but then we're also giving a, doing a giveaway. So Kara Oceana will be given a giveaway and I will be given a giveaway, but you can only get it if you're there live with us, okay? So you don't want to miss out on that. All right, here we go. So we've got some important things happening for 2024. I want to just make it clear to you that the veils are not the veils, the light, the shining light of the new paradigm is going to get even stronger, okay, brighter. What that means is, you guys, it's time to dump your baggage, all right? I'm not joking. So think about this, okay? So here's the veils. In order to go through the veils, you have to have a certain vibrational frequency to pass through the veils to continue to be here on planet Earth. That's going to be big time as we go keep going closer and closer as we hit more and more of that light of new paradigm, new world, new Earth. But right now we have an, an, uh, a sharper, brighter energy coming. So this year, whatever you've been working on, whatever your angst have been, whatever you've been dealing with, whatever you're consciously aware of, you can feel, you know, where your life isn't working and where it is, you know, where you want to open up to more things. So it's going to be really important that you start dumping your baggage. Okay. So if you've got, if you're holding on to resentments with anybody, start bringing them to the surface, move through them, you know, go through the emotion of it. Okay. People, it's like you have resentment, all right. You're, you're holding on to resentment. And in that, you're punishing people, hurting people, but you're hurting yourself as well, okay? But that's inside of you. The angst is inside of you. So bring all your resentments to the surface. That means start writing to people, you know, write letters. Don't mail them, just write them, okay? So you can say anything and everything. Use your non-dominant hand to really start writing to people, writing to your parents, writing to your lovers, your husbands, wives, your kids, doesn't matter who. Get this resentment energy out of your body. Okay. So what happens is as you're writing, writing, then you feel the emotion of that resentment. Okay. Then let your body have those emotions. Okay. And then any kind of self-punishment that you're doing, this needs to come to an end. All right. So if you're sabotaging yourself, if you're blaming yourself, you know, making yourself wrong, you know, if you're doing this, you know it. Okay. So again, what are you really upset about? Like, so then just do it, have it all the way. Okay, what I mean by that is, let's just say I'm resenting myself or I don't like something about myself or I'm hating something about myself. I'm just gonna write it, write it, write it, write it, write it. Then I'm gonna go non-dominant hand, let the emotion come because here's what's up. That, those energies that we're holding against ourselves actually belong on somebody else, okay? We've turned it to ourselves so that we don't risk losing love. That's what everything's about. We don't want to risk losing love. So if we have a resentment with our parents or our lovers or whoever, we're going to turn it on ourselves rather than make it about them, rather than, you know, bring it to the surface and really looking at it, feeling it, owning it, processing it, clearing it. Um, we turn it on ourselves. Okay. We got, this has to come to an end. All that self-punishment, self-hatred, self-loathing, self-sabotaging, this needs to all come to an end. You can do it. Okay. And then also any beliefs like you're not loved, okay? Again, love rises up from within. So now it's time to start finding your own energy frequency, finding the love within, okay? Don't be looking to feel it from somebody else because it doesn't come that way. You can't feel it from anybody else. The only way you feel love is when it comes from within. So you want to start activating that energy. You want to start feeling love. So what you're going to do is bring your awareness deep inside to the heart, Think of somebody or something, a critter, I don't care what it is, a little dog, cat, doesn't matter, bird, you know, turtle, <laughs> doesn't matter. Feel the love because what's happening is you're thinking about what you love or who you love, then you start to feel that energy. Okay, once you feel that frequency of love inside, now you're just going to hold that feeling and you're just going to bring 
everybody that you know, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, your mothers and fathers, your grandparents, your kids, your grandkids, whoever, your friends, families, coworkers, because now is the time to start learning and practicing and living in that heart space where there is just pure unconditional love and light. Okay. So when you start doing that, all you're doing is activating the love that already resides within. You're not looking for it out there anymore. And then you're going to take it to the next level and you're just going to start seeing yourself. Even you look at pictures of yourself or, you know, uh, memory books of yourself, looking at you as a child growing up your life, you're still going to hold that frequency. And every time you look at yourself, if you're not holding love, you stop, you come back in, you think of whoever you feel that love with, you activate the love within, and then you hold it and you just let that love be there as you're looking at your own pictures or images or even just remembering you, okay? People, this is vitally important. Love is the key because next year there's a lot of stuff coming down. It's going to be very intense and love is going to be the way that makes it possible to ride through the intensities and the crises and all the different things that we'll be experiencing in the unraveling, in the clearing, in the transformation of, you know, transitioning into the new paradigm. So remember, whatever is not of love and light is going to come to the surface. You want it to. And that's the other piece here is if you've got resentment, you got prejudice, you got hatred, you look at the world and if you're finding fault and judging and attacking, making wrong, then get that out of your system. Really, really have it. If you got to get a, you know, get a, uh, you know, either some, like I roll up a, a hand towel and so you can hit things or use a tennis racket or even a, a plastic bat, but get your energy out, get all this energy out, speak it, say it, scream it, cry it, yell it, get it out because it's not the truth. It's not who you are in the core. You are love and light. It's time to start finding that it doesn't, it's not going to serve you to try to get through these veils into the new paradigm, holding all these feelings and resentments and finding fault and judging everybody, judging the world. Okay. So now's the time. You got to just a few weeks to get this stuff out. You can do it. I know you can, but you got to be committed. You got to want it and you got to take action. Okay. So in order to really step into 2024 and a different frequency, different vibration, you got to dump the baggage, dump the dark stuff, dark, dump it all, the hatreds and resi- all that stuff, negativity, the victim, all of it. But the thing, key is, it's the emotion. Have the emotion, people. Go through the emotion and your body your, it will just release so much. You will feel so much lighter, brighter, freer, and you'll be ready to step into 2024 for what's coming down the pike for next year, okay? And then just a reminder, too, that on January 4th, this is a free clearing. Oceana and myself will be doing a clearing on your best year yet for 2024. Okay. So, again, it's a free clearing. Uh, and we are both giving away a free gift. So, you'll be there. Yeah, you have to be there in person because that's how we draw your name to receive a free gift from myself and from Oceana. Again, January 4th. It's free, it's live, free gifts, clearing, fun, be there. See you then.